From the Target 12 investigators, a mother says her autistic daughter was unlawfully restrained at a West Warwick Elementary School. It was like two, three calls a week. Now, four families have filed complaints with the Department of Justice against two local school districts. The families accuse the districts of violating the students' civil rights. Target 12 investigator Kate Wilkinson has why an attorney says these schools need to change. Kate? According to the complaints, four students were restrained dozens of times. However, that stopped when some of them were transferred out of the districts. Repeated restraints, occasionally leading to bruising, and in some cases, students were held for at least a half hour. That's what four families claim happened to their kids in federal complaints filed earlier this month. The students impacted all have special education plans for behavioral issues and other disabilities and attended either Greenbush Elementary School in West Warwick or Davisville Academy in North Kingstown. Ellen Saitman, an attorney working alongside the ACLU of Rhode Island, says they found there were a small number of students being restrained a high number of times. There doesn't seem to have been any oversight either at the school district level or at the Rhode Island Department of Education to say, gee, it looks like there's a problem at this elementary school. Let's look and see. Maybe the people need to be taught more evidence-based behavior techniques. In Rhode Island, restraints can only be used if a student poses a physical threat to themselves or others and if other forms of de-escalation are not working. Certain types of restraints are also banned in Rhode Island, like the prone position, which became illegal in schools in 2016, where a person is held face down. However, Isilda Cabral of West Warwick said her daughter Sophia was held in that position last fall, in a padded room the size of a closet, used when an educator feels a student needs to be removed from others. That day, she, she told me she didn't want to go in the closet anymore, and that's what made it more worse. Azilda said her 10-year-old daughter is now thriving since she was transferred out of the school district. But she has a message to West Warwick Public Schools. Happy when I gave her to you. And she'll come back sad and upset and drained. So you failed her. No one from the school districts was willing to go on camera, but both acknowledged the complaints. West Warwick saying in part, the safety of our students is our top priority. Accordingly, we ensure our faculty and staff have the updated certification and training needed to respond safely and appropriately to any escalating scenario, meeting all of RIDE's requirements. With the Target 12 investigators, Kate Wilkinson, 12 News.